welcome to our second coding project. As we already know, we're going to create a working backdoor and as the previous project was in Python, this one will be as well. However, if we think about it a little bit, you might realize that in order for our project to work and in order for us to successfully communicate with the target machine using our backdoor, we must create two programs, a server and a payload. One will be running on our Cal Linux machine and the other one will run on our target machine. What will happen is they will communicate between one another and from the server we will be sending our instructions that we want our target to execute, then the payload will send us back an output. So it would pretty much look something like this. Kali Linux machine is running the server program and the target is running the payload or our backdoor. Once we get to creating these, you will notice that the code of these two programs will be rather similar due to them working together. We will be sending commands from our Kali Linux machine. For example, if we wanted to check out all the files in the current working directory on the target machine, we know that the command for this is dir on Windows and ls on Linux. Once we send that from our server, we would want our target to send us back the response, which will contain an output of all the files and folders inside of that specific directory. Now, that is just an example of one command. We, of course, want to be able to execute all the commands that we can run inside the regular terminal or command prompt, and we will see exactly how to do that. To code this, we will need knowledge of reverse shells, which we already have since we covered the exploitation section. We know exactly how reverse shells work. And another thing that we must be familiar with are ports and IP addresses. And this is also something that we know. This will not present us a problem. We need to be familiar with Python sockets. And this is something we briefly touched in our first coding project. However, I will do my best to explain it once again in the code that we're going to use. And last, at the end, we will need to compile the Python code to .exe for our Windows targets. This is something you should not worry about since I will demonstrate how to do this after we code our programs. So now that we know what we are doing, without further ado, let's get straight into the coding lessons. <laughs> 